awful small affair To the girl with the mousy hair But her mummy is yelling no And her daddy is Hey guys, it's Stephanie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, feel free to hit the like button, hit the uh, subscribe button, hit the bell for more content uh, when I upload. And uh, share away here. We share away here for the love of Star Wars. And uh, upcoming is a good video for you all. So be there, be square. Hey guys, it's Stephanie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today's topic for video one is um, kind of a funny, uh, kind of a more of an exposition on what happened to Star Wars Theory and uh, the claim made it made on his uh, uh, fan fan film by Disney uh, Warner Chapel Music um, and the fact that the boycott is fully operational now. Good job, hey guys, Disney. It's Stephanie, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today uh, I'm going to be talking a little bit more about. Um, uh, Star Wars series uh, issues with Disney and how they claimed the copyright on his video, the Vader fan flick, Shards of the Past. Uh, apparently, they threatened him. Uh, they basically came at him and said, if you try to challenge us, we will have YouTube take down your entire channel. This is a company that can't, that can't literally can't sell uh anything Star Wars anymore. And they're attacking one person who actually did something good for the fans that they should be celebrating instead of stealing from him. Uh, Owen the movie Black is right. When you look at their, their so-called case against him, it's flimsy at best. What they're doing is they saw that it had six million hits. It was making money. More money than Soilo did because Soilo lost between 200 and 250 million dollars. Those numbers don't lie. The facts don't lie. This is why they did what they did. Okay. And, you know, the fact that we're not allowed to be angry about it is just ridiculous. Uh, you know, I mean, what are we supposed to do? Uh, just saying there, I'll go, oh, okay. Um, it's really interesting to me how the shell sites, the shells can all go, well, you should like it because it's Star Wars. And I've said this before, it's like, no. You know, they haven't done anything good. I mean, I'll even go as far as to say is that the wasted opportunity of The Force Awakens is literally the biggest sin of all. Uh, you, you know, they hurried it too, too fast out there. They didn't get the old cast together. They didn't do it right. And I think J.J. Abrams knows it. I think everybody knows that he did it. He did the best he could. He's not Lee Brackett. He's not George Lucas. He doesn't know the characters. I don't think as well as he should. And he's a fan. I'm not gonna argue. I'm not gonna have this. this that's an argument I won't have. Uh, he's not a bad guy. Uh, you know. But the biggest sin of all is not getting the old cast together. You know, and the discontent about throwing away the EU. Then, not getting the old cast together after, and every, when everybody saw The Force Awakens, it's like, and here's the juxtaposition. Ivan, uh, Ivan Reitman's son is making Ghostbusters 3, the actual true, uh, true, um, sequel to 1 and 2. And despite Harold Ramis, uh, being gone, passed away, God bless his soul. The old cast is coming back together. Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, uh, you know, all of them. And it's going to be awesome. This is what people want to see, okay? This movie is gonna come out in 2020 and it's going to make a lot of money, okay? First off, it's gonna prove that the, the, the female-driven trope is is dead it's it's never really existed second of all it's going to prove that people want to see these characters together again interacting to, again you know and it's going to be it's going to be a celebration of what good movie making is and i can't wait to see it i mean I, you know now we have star wars harrison ford 
you know, kicking butt and taking names, Mark Hamill kicking butt and taking names. And at the time, Carrie Fisher, we thought was, was healthy and fine. We have them in the movie all the time. The soft handoff. Instead, we got this garbage. And then we're told we're supposed to like everything they make. No matter how, how crappy it is. Which always brings to me the analogy of the Emperor has no clothes. Um, and the fans, and the fact that there are fans out there, Steel Saunders, you know, and I've said this before, and the rest of them, uh, who will admire a piece of steaming hot dog poop if it had Star Wars stamped on it. Because Disney and Lucasfilm stamped Star Wars on it. It's not how the Force works. You know, uh, you should know what you're looking at. And if it's garbage, just say it's garbage. I mean, then it's fine. Because they can do better, right? So, now we've got this Vader fan flick. And it's a great movie. It's powerful. It comes from a place of real love and creativity that envision that you need to have making these movies that no one at Lucasfilm or Disney seems to have. Um, you know, and they're paying for it. Um, and Disney realized it was making money. And, you know, they, this is what I surmise happened. He had an agreement. And he followed it strictly. And they had to really dig to find something that they could copyright strike, copyright claim it on. And they did. The music, which is like, now it's flimsy. But from what I've, what we've heard is Star Wars Theory will not fight them. I mean, he's a little, little dude going up against, you know, the, uh, the, the mouse house and that you can't. You know, so he's doing he's he's doing what he thinks is best. No, I would fight him, but I'm that way. All right, I am that way. Uh, I would go after him with everything I had. Uh, you know, because the, it's 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 ludicrous. It's a ludicrous ruling. It's a ludicrous notion. It, it's just dumb, and you know it shouldn't be happening. Yet there we are. So. Um, you know, so what do we do? Now, Ethan Van Skyvers is now boycotting everything. He's going to quit buying Star Wars stuff, period. All of it. I mean, even from other collectors where, you know, Disney's not making a dime. I'm not going to go that far. I mean, I will get the vintage stuff. I will get content, continue to get the uh, Hallmark ornaments that were made before uh, Lucas sold because uh, those are good things. All right. But I am boy now boycotting episode nine. I don't care what the, what the spoilers are. I have a laundry list. We all know what they are from fixing Han and Leia's relationship, fixing Luke, giving Rey a, 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 a Skywalker solo background because we have to have a reason why she got the Skywalker saber and can fly the Falcon. Um, and why was her chemistry so great with Harrison Ford? Because it was. I mean. That is one of the good things that came out of uh, The Force Awakens is that if there was a real thing there, the father's daughter thing there, um, you know, you know, fix Kyle Ron. So, I mean, we don't have to sit there and watch him go angsty teenager bullshit, <laughs> which I know won't happen. Um, you know, but do, do all these things, fix everything, and then, you know, we'll, we'll at least be able to be on speaking terms. I'm not going to see it. I was going to go and actually go and buy a ticket a week after it came out to go see it. And now I'm not. Why? Because instead of telling Star Wars Theory, hey, you did a good job. We need to talk uh, about maybe projects that are coming up in, in the franchise. No, they just said, we want the money. Fuck you. <coughs> Fuck all your hard work. They basically stole this piece of intellectual pot property from this kid instead of doing it the right way. You know, they could have, you know, if they apologized, if they said, look, we're wrong, we're taking, we're going to take the, uh, we're going to uh, uh, let go of the claim, uh, we're going to demonetize it again, uh, we're sorry, uh, 
you did a really, really good job. La, la, la. No, they're not going to do that either because they're great. They're a bunch of greedy pricks. Uh, they're salacious. They're, they're, they're avaricious. They're everything that they're, you, you know, and most of these people, what I love about us, most of these people are hardcore leftists, but they are literally everything they hate. Every morning, you know, you'll, you'll see one of these people wake up and they are literally the Monopoly guy. They are literally Ebenezer Scrooge. They are literally every corrupt, you know, so-called corrupt capitalist that they, that they say they hate. They are that person. And that's the thing that absolutely drives me nuts, is I hate hypocrisy. I mean, we're all hypocrites, but at least, you know, you can, most people can say and go, yeah, well, yeah, you know, I'm a hypocrite. These guys, no, they're not. They're, they're righteous. They're righteous. You will watch what we make. You will like it no matter what, no matter how bad it is, no matter what the bad message is, no matter how poorly written it is, no matter how it fucks up everything that came before it. You will like it. If you, you know, and now they're, you know, now they really stepped in it because what, because attacking something that was good and a noble pursuit, like Shards of the Past, and claiming it as their own when they didn't do a damn thing for it, didn't spend any money creating it, didn't do anything, didn't put anything into it, um, has just made their, their standing in the Star Wars fan community even worse. I mean, you know, I'm going to leave you all with this. Used to be back in the day when George Lucas was running uh, uh, the franchise and Lucasfilm, is they would actually have fan fan film contests, and he would judge it. Nowadays, no. I mean, instead of cur and encouraging these creators, these people stomp on them. I've got fr I've got a friend who's in uh, Hand of the Empire, and it's about Marge as a little girl. He's playing Kanan Jarrus. Uh, and I'm going to tell you guys this right now, here right now. I'm afraid they're not going to be able to put that out there. That we're not going to be able to see it. That somehow Disney's going to claim that too or tell them they can't post it anywhere because it's a copyright violation. You know, meanwhile, George Lucas would say, hey, yeah, I want to see that. How did you do on that? I want to, I want to see it. You know, and that's the difference is that Lucas... He always encouraged people. He was there as a guide, a leader, as a teacher, as a mentor to young filmmakers. These people are just like, F you. You know? And they wonder why they're failing. You know, Steele Saunders and Jason Ward, that pimp, and uh, that scumbag pervert, Brian Young, can sit there and, and complain and bitch and moan all they want about how great these movies are and how they've made money. But the earnings report showed they didn't make a damn dime. And if they tried to say the movies earned money, see, look, no, that's the backfill from Marvel. They didn't earn anything. In fact, you know, a lot of people, including me, have done, have done the numbers crunching. And, you know, despite CNBC's gloating review that, oh, yes, Lucasfilm paid for itself. No, it didn't. They used gross box office instead of net. All right? And you don't do that. It's net. And net was is between one point three billion and two billion dollars. There's still two point three billion dollars in the hole. Alright? And you wonder why all of Kathy Kennedy's little projects have been cancelled? Because of that. That that's one of the things. And also she's just she's just a shitty, shitty, shitty leader. Okay. So anyway, um, I just want to talk a little bit more about this. Uh, yes, I am now officially boycotting. I'm not even going to spend money on a Jumanji ticket to sneak in. All right? I'm not. Even if it's got everything I want. Even, you know, they could apologize to all of us. They could apologize to Star Wars Theory and encourage him. And I might, I might reconsider. But right now, I'm full on boycott. All right? You know, I'll do uh, reviews of things I buy off of eBay that are from uh, the OT in the, in, the, in the prequel era that were made during then, but I'm not buying another damn thing from Luke, from, from, 
from this era. Again, they can all go to hell. Okay, Disney needs to learn it, learn a, 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 a lesson. I'm not interested in seeing the Mandalorian. I don't even like. It. I don't even know why they're doing it. Um, I'm not interested in, in uh, uh, Game of Thrones uh, uh, deal. I'm not interested in the uh, pr uh, Rogue One prequels. And I'm not going to get the streaming service. Okay? That's it. Disney, you lost. Okay? Ultimately, you lost. I mean, David Boy's uh, song, uh, Is Her Life on Mars? Mickey Mouse has grown up a, a cow. Mickey's a cow. Okay, so this is Steph, signing off. See you on the galaxy. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, and uh, feel free to subscribe, uh, hit the like button, hit the bell for more content, and uh, share away. We share away here. Love Star Wars, and I'll see you around the galaxy.